I'm starting on getting the soil back into my my planter, the big wooden one. And I the the good thing was is this morning it actually we had a little bit of a rain so the water went into it. First off before I get started, let me tell you a little side note that I learned today. Um, I put the plastic up and everything and it rained a little bit and it made me maybe a quarter ounce of rain and this morning when I came out to look at it it looked like what I had done was pretty watertight because there was no leaks in the box but and there is a but but when I went and I took the topsoil and I put it back into the area where it needed to go the box started to leak so the side note is, is just because it's airtight without the soil doesn't mean that it's necessarily watertight. You know, um, I had to wait till the soil was put in. Uh, I'm, I can show you what it looks like now. right there and right in there too I'm guessing that that's the result of me yesterday doing the uh, doing doing the pipes trying to make a roof for it I probably scuffed up the plastic or something and the weight could have something to do with it because like I said I didn't do a very good build on that box later on I'll have another one that's better built and more easy, or better that quality not, so. it, it didn't turn out as good as what I thought it would but like I said it's fine I'm, I'm wanting to see <clears throat> what this experiment does I'm not really worried about it being watertight and everything like that. Uh, now, what I'm doing now is I've gotten a bucket of gravel and I have a bucket of water and I'm planning on cleaning the gravel because my brother Robert, he wants to test the pH balance on this and we seen on a YouTube video again where you can take a glass of gravel and just put vinegar over it no water just vinegar on it and the the reaction to the gravel with the vinegar will determine how much ph how much of a ph level i'm oh, sorry how much of a ph level there is in the gravel so first i'm going to wash it and i've got a nifty little mop bucket right here. See, I don't like the mop that this comes with, but I do like the mop bucket. It's pretty nifty. And planning on putting the gravel in here. I'm going to use the handle right here to move it. And then I'm going to pour water on the gravel and it'll go down into the bottom and from there I can take and clean I thought this part came off <laughs> but I guess it doesn't anyhow I can take this the gravel from that part and put it inside of this bucket and distribute it inside of my planter <clears throat> that's the plan but first, I'm going to take the first sample and I'm going to add uh, vinegar to it and see what happens there. And I'll let you guys see that too. But like before, I'm not going to sit and make you have to watch me wash all this gravel off. I'll just come back to it after I'm done with it. I am done with the gravel, cleaning it and everything and washing. I did get a, one bucket finished and i'll show you the results this is what i produced out of one bucket I put the
Now, it all depends on if you think it's worth it doing all that for that much gravel. Um, I had nothing better to do today, so I figured I would. This is a slow and patient process. You know, you don't get it all right then and there. Um, most people go out and buy their gravel, which is fine too, but besides, you know, getting gravel, I'm also revitalizing my yard. Like I told you, there's been damage done to it, so it helped out in that aspect On too. On YouTube, they were talking about testing pH balance and uh, gravel by using vinegar. I have two different kinds of vinegar. First, I have distilled vinegar, which is right here. And then I have apple vinegar, which is right here. So I have these two in two small cups, and I have two uh, cups just like this with gravel. I'm going to put this one in one of the cups, and then this one in the other cup to find out if there is a difference between the vinegar. And I also want to see what the reaction is if the vinegar actually does react react to gravel. Have gravel from the yard which is still kind of dirty and everything but it's actually from the yard and if I put the vinegar in it'll show even if the the content not just the content of the gravel but the content of the dirt too you know and uh, I did my best to wash it off and I uh, have the vinegar now I've got the apple here and I've got the distilled one vinegar minute. here, one at a time, <laughs> so that we can look at the reaction and see what happens. First, I'm going to use the distilled vinegar. I'm just going to pour it right in. So far, I mean, I don't see much of a reaction. See bubbles popping up. Yeah, now the bubbles are starting to surface. Well, here, like you see how that right there in that cup area, uh -huh. and you look around on the other side, it's kind of doing it, but that right there, you know, I'll, I'll look at that. That could be a reflection. Um, so there is research to suggest that urine has value as a fertilizer, and it's unlikely to change the pH in your soil. So the next thing that we need to investigate you got a little bit of bubbles up here on the top around the rock, but other than that, I mean, that's all I see right here. And then right there, that could be from the little bit of mud that's still on the rock. There we got that. Now, the apple vinegar. This is the apple vinegar. And we're going to do this. Let's take a look at diseases like HIV and hepatitis. According to U.S. and Canadian government sources, we automatically got a bubble right there. Control to spread through urine. A bubble there. A little risk about major communicable diseases coming through here in urine. Let's take a look at drugs. Drugs to be shown in the cup right there. The urine on the right or surplus are eliminated. Okay, and the apples on the other one, the clear one on the other side, mm -hmm. without the rock. Okay. And see right here, I see. Yeah, that's one on the front. I'm seeing white fuzz here coming up. If you look down at the bottom, you can actually see moving this. Like, step over here and look over the top. See right there? Mm -hmm. So apple vinegar is actually showing a reaction. Mm -hmm. 
automatically flush and have to be processed using non-renewable resources. You can even see it in the camera. Yeah, but both of them are doing it. But with Apple, it makes it more it clear, it shows better. Because when you when you have it, that's the old map. This right here, I can set them side by side. Yeah, do it. You see what I mean? Look. Look how the two cups are. The yeah, apple cider does it better. Mm -hmm. It's on the top. That's the important part. This oh, right here. I mean, the one this on here. Oh, that can be a camera trick. You see? You're looking at the camera. Look at the actual cut. Yeah. You see that? We finally transferred the roses out of the potter or the pot that it was in because we used like I said before we used the grass clippings that produced mushrooms in the one of the, the pots that we have so now we've decided to transfer the roses because a couple mushrooms appeared in that one we got it got them out of there before they ended up dead and after that we took the soil with the grass clippings that produced the mushrooms and I'm putting them now in coffee cans with little with little holes that I used a knife for. I made them in the, in the shape of a cross for them to where whatever whatever's in there gets oxygen but at the same time it uh, is it got the darkness and no light so that it can produce whatever it is that the kind of mushrooms that they're growing. <laughs> we are going to set those up. Robert's thinking about putting them over by the trees, and but we'll see about that. I'm kind of worried because there's bees over there. But I'm going to cut the slashes in there and we're going to get it done. Yeah, we might put it in uh, our big potting, uh, empty potting thing too. So we've decided that we are going to put the mushroom inside of the pot and we're going to slide it underneath our bench to where it can be in a dark area and we will check on it regularly to see if there's anything I'd give going it, on. I'd give it about a week, let it sit for a week and find out. There ain't no way that it'll work out that fast because when it was sitting over there all right inside the shade it took it what it's been about maybe a week three four days uh, two weeks no since i put it up there oh yeah uh, so yes it's i put the rose bush up there and it took about three or three to four maybe from three to four days to a week since it took that long i'll come back about Four days and I'll check up on it. You're concerned this is a lot different color and it would be uh, the requirement because it's on concrete. Mm -hmm. But just so everybody know too, this is, I'll show a video of the gravel after I put it in. See how much it took up of the pot. Just put that in. I'm thinking it's going to take about three or four buckets to do that. You see, like when I put that in, there's more weight and it causes a leak right there on the edge. As long as it's below a certain weight, it doesn't seem to want to leak, but once it gets weighty, it starts doing that. Well, I'm going to get off here.